I guess this is going to be my final video update about the React Nano Degree program on Udacity. And uh, I haven't been staying up to date. We'll talk a little bit about why, what my final thoughts are on the program, and if I would recommend it to people who are trying to learn React. Before we get started, I want to go ahead and thank uh, this video sponsor, Dev Mountain. It's really cool that they support the, the channel and the coding community. So if you're interested in going to a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is provided, I couldn't recommend Dev Mountain enough. I've actually been on one of their campuses and met some of the, the people who are working behind the scenes as well. I've interviewed v various developers, and they're all doing very well. And I, you know, it's one of the, the programs I can definitely say that you're going to get your money's worth and really dive completely into the the stack of technologies just by the fact that you're going to live a block away from campus as well as their great instructors so if you're interested in that sort of stuff go ahead and check them out at devmountain.com so as i kind of mentioned i stopped working on the udacity now degree program but i was very impressed with it and it was, i didn't stop working on it because i was like oh it was too simple or oh it was too hard or oh i just didn't think it was a good program part of the reason that i started the react now degree was a very practical reason. I was I was under I knew that I wanted to move jobs and I thought to myself that I'm working in Angular JS, which isn't the latest version of Angular, um, you know, Angular 2 plus, right? But it was something that said, hey, I have some experience in Angular. Some of it will transfer over, not too much, but that may be enough to make me more hireable if I decide to split out and say, let's actually go and learn React. There's a lot of jobs, it's exploding, and I might be able to swing my way into an Angular uh, 2 role if I have the Angular JS experience. It's kind of a, a gamble of, I think I'd be more hireable if I go and have a little bit of experience in both of these um, technologies and my my intuition of hey I have angular JS experience eventually led me to a angular um, two role and um, that was the reason that that at its core was the reason why I stopped doing the udacity nano degree program I got to the second project there's three and I've I got about halfway through that when I got my job uh, my current job and it was uh, something that I as a as a developer i had to decide okay well i actually don't do angular 2 yet like i haven't built anything in it other than a couple test projects so it's time to focus my attention to fully dive into angular uh, and and learn all the skills at a new workplace so for those of you who are you know uh just starting your career most of the time you're not going to be 99 percent there in your role usually there's going to be some technologies that you're not super familiar with or you've only played with or you know that could be anything from the build tools that could be anything from the DevOps aspects to the testing to in this case the framework that you're using on the front end and so for me my main priority was hey i need to get up to running for up to running for work because that's my main priority right that's what that's what keeps lights up on here that's what pays for these videos to keep being made right so uh, that was my decision to be made. Do I regret taking the, um, the React course? No. I, I think for the $300 that I paid for it, that it was one of the most well-produced courses that I've ever taken. In terms of the feedback aspect, that was something that I really loved. And I think that you could, that in itself pays for it. Being able to say, hey, how does, you know, essentially getting a code review, which is a very practical process of your your courses or of your um, your work, right? Having your peers review it, people who are be even below you at the same level or above you who may know how to do something a slightly different way, slightly better way. We're all opinionated, but I think that this is something that is truly beneficial and a great aspect of the Udacity Nano degree program. And on top of it, just getting a little bit of experience with React for, to be able to say, okay, cool, you, here's the thing, is a lot of people, uh, I had a conversation with a subscriber last night during a live stream where he says he was looking for React-only roles. That's what he wanted. He has learned React and he wants to go for React-only roles, which is okay. But even if you, in his in instance, I thought it was a little bit strange. Uh, not that he wants to only work in React, but that he was going to turn down Angular roles if they were offered. Um... Uh, if you can learn one framework, such as React, and people say it's a library, all that sort of stuff, different video. Uh, but uh, if you can learn React, uh, you should be able to learn Angular. If you can learn Angular, you should be able to learn React. And what will happen is you'll actually become better, a better developer 
in general. And you start th seeing connections, you know, components in React, components in Angular. Uh, so you start seeing these things that really overlap, and you'll learn you'll learn each uh, framework or library much quicker in the process. But um, back to the now degree program. Uh, the React one's a little bit interesting because some of their programs have multiple months, right? That you go at your own pace. It's like you're you're essentially having tasks. The and that you're paying every single month, you know, two three hundred dollars. Um, the Nano Degree program is you have a set start time and a set end time. And I can tell you that I personally uh, think they get, give you more than enough time so that even if you have some hiccups, you can go and, and knock it out. I just uh, decided to focus more on Angular. Uh, when I got a role in Angular, it just it kind of killed any interest I had in learning React um, because I'd rather just deep dive in Angular at this point in time get better at my, my job. But in terms of the Udacity program itself, I would recommend it for people who are looking to to get feedback on their code but if you're looking for just a super well-designed course and you don't care about maybe having someone to, to guide your hand along the way, I would say overall, you probably would be better because I believe the course on average is $500. You would probably be better spending $100 on Udemy courses and knocking those out just because you're going to be exposed to so much as long as you make sure that you get them from the top creators on Udemy who are you know, updating their courses, giving feedback, because they're going to give feedback too, right? You're going to have questions, they answer it, um, as as I do on my own courses. But it is, it is interesting because that is the only difference in, in value, in my opinion, other than the, the super cringy sort of Udemy characters that, that are, are reading off. They're good and very educated, and I've interviewed some of them. Uh, but... It is, uh, at times, it's a little too cringy for me. But the content of the video is great. Uh, I had no issues following along. It wasn't like anything was outdated when I did it. It was like, oh, well, this is broken now because in version one point blah, 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 it got updated to this. And that was really what I was looking for with the Udemy program is when I was trying to learn React on my own, I kept on running into outdated tech, outdated this, outdated that. And that's the old way of doing the React. This is the new way of doing React. And it was really frustrating because when you're learning this stuff, you want to be learning the latest and the greatest, the, the bleeding edge, right, of all this. And that was what I suffered with when I was trying to learn on my own without using Udemy or Udacity NanoDegree program. And I decided, hey, let's you know, let's go ahead and take this other path and see what I can do. Maybe add a little bit to the um, education part of the resume in the process and built and learn some cool skills and in that aspect they had the latest and the greatest and it fulfilled me in that way and I think it was what I was looking for but I would say for the average person who you know can't waste three hundred dollars on a course not that it's a waste or five hundred dollars um, you know the people who are trying to get their career started five hundred dollars is a lot to ask for it really really is um, but um, I personally think that you can kind of get more value for $100 maybe. You buy 10 React courses and Redux courses and React Native course. So at the very least, $500 you're getting React, Re React Redux, and React Native through the NanoDegree program. And we get feedback from developers about how to uh, code React more professionally super important you also they also have chat where you i used it several times and I, I can say that they were very helpful they were there and they they answered my questions and they provided support better than i thought it was going to be in all honesty a lot of times my experience with that has been very poor um and i they did a very good job with that and and uh, i could recommend them based off those two things if that's something that you're looking for i would also say that if you can find those Udemy creators who are charging $10 or $20 for their course, you could go and spend $100, $200, and you'd probably get more value, if not uh, just as much, from the nano degree program, not have to break the bank for $500. Right? That's quite a bit. Uh, their other programs, although I haven't taken them, they have a, when you complete the program, a job guarantee. If you can guarantee a job, not that they're going to get you a job, but the skills that you're going to learn from it, guarantee a job. To me, you have you have uh, earned that $200 a month uh, aspect of it, uh, along with the feedback and whatnot. 
but that's for a separate video. And I think that's pretty cool that they actually are so confident in their program that if you complete it, you will they will guarantee you a, a job. But um, with that being said, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you um, for supporting the channel. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. This will be, of course, my last React uh, Nano Degree program video. I don't foresee myself going into uh, another Nano Degree program just because I have so much stuff that I'm doing that I can't <laughs> imagine committing myself to three to six months to something that isn't. Uh, I don't. You know what? I won't even say that because I could. Totally, I kind of could see myself doing it. As I say, I don't see myself doing it because I really did enjoy it. It was a lot of fun to be back in this sort of structured environment where I get to. Uh, have somebody else lead the way. And um, it's the first course I ever paid for past the uh, Udemy. So I've, I've recently purchased some Udemy courses, but this was the first course I ever paid for. Everything else that I've used, I've been teaching myself and learning for myself. So with that being said, that is my final review on the UDAC. Udacity now degree program. I hope that you guys, uh, if you are more interested and you say, hey, you know, I'd like to dive deeper into this, I'd like to recommend Ricky Garcia's channel. He has been doing, he's done several of these programs and he's been doing a weekly update about his um, nano degree progress. And so I think he has like 12 or 15 videos at this point on the program. And so if you want a little bit more detail, you want to see some of the projects up close, he, his channel would be a great resource for you to do that. So Thank you again, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. Support me on Patreon. If you're interested in my courses, there's a, a link in the description below. And thank you to our sponsor, devmountain.com. See you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, baby, what do you think if I or some other YouTube, YouTubers charge $500 for a course? You greedy jackass. That's what I think, too. Hey, guys, if you're looking for a fun little project to do, I have my very first course out called Learn Angular by Projects Part 1, where we build a personal portfolio. It's about three hours of content. It's one project. It's not going to teach you everything in Angular by any means, but it's a great way to get your feet wet. You can go ahead and check the link down below, get a, a coupon code, Coding God, or just click the icon.